Hello, this is Vanessa from The Pudgy Rabbit, and today I'm going to share more tips for reading patterns as I walk you through how to crochet this flat circle. So here's a list of abbreviations you'll be seeing today. We're just going to stick with some basic crochet stitches, such as making a chain and doing a single crochet. I'll be including this list along with the pattern for the circle in the description below. So let's get started. So starting round one, we're going to chain two, single crochet six in the second chain from the hook, and we'll have a total of six stitches at the end. So to start, I'm going to make my slip knot, and then place it on my hook. And here I'm using a four millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. So I'm gonna yarn over and pull through to make my first chain yarn over and pull through to make my second chain, and then counting back from the hook, I'm going to insert it into that second chain. I'm going to yarn over and pull through to bring up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops, and there I've made my first single crochet stitch. I'm going to insert my hook back into that same second chain space to make the rest of the single crochet stitches. So here I'm finishing with stitch number five and six. And there I've completed round one. So counting the stitches, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm ready for round two. So for round two, we're going to single crochet two into each stitch. And since we have six stitches from round one, this means we'll have 12 stitches at the end of round two. So I'm going to start by inserting my hook into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through to bring up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. So I made my first single crochet. I'm going to insert my hook back into that same stitch and then make my second single crochet. Now you can see I have both single crochet stitches worked into the same stitch. And at this point, I like to grab my stitch marker, which is just a safety pin, just to mark off the first stitch that I made for the round. And this helps me keep track of where my rounds begin and end. Okay. And now I'm just going to continue working two single crochets into each stitch of the round. So finishing up, making my last set of single crochet stitches. And there I've completed round two. So to do our stitch count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now we're ready for round three. Okay, for round three, we have single crochet one, then single crochet two in the next stitch, and we'll repeat this set six times for a total of 18 stitches at the end. When you see in the next stitch, this doesn't apply to both the single crochet one and single crochet two. Sometimes people end up working the entire set all within the same stitch, which then throws off their pattern. So when you see a comma separating your stitches within a set, such as the single crochet one, comma, single crochet two, we can read this as we're going to be working those single crochets into separate stitches. So here I'll work one single crochet into the first stitch of the round. So I made my first stitch, I'm going to grab my stitch marker and place it in there to mark off the beginning of round three. And now in the next stitch, I'll work two single crochet stitches. And there I've completed one set. 
you can see I have one single crochet and then in the next stitch I have two single crochets. In this one set counts as one of the six times that I have to repeat so I'm going to continue working all the way around repeating the set five more times. So finishing up the last set and I'm done with round three. And checking in on the stitch count, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And now we're ready for round four. So for round four, we have single crochet one, single crochet two in the next stitch, and then in between asterisks, we have single crochet two, then single crochet two in the next stitch, repeat five times, and then single crochet one for a total of 24 stitches at the end. I know this round can seem a little confusing, but we're still just using single crochet stitches, so let's break down each part. So first, for the single crochet one, I'm just gonna make a single crochet in the first stitch of the round. Okay, and I'm gonna put in my stitch marker to mark off the beginning. And then next, we have single crochet two in the next stitch, so I'm gonna work two single crochets into the same stitch. Okay, and then we've completed the first part of the round, so moving on to the set of stitches in between the asterisks, which is single crochet two, comma, single crochet two in the next stitch. This means we're going to work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. There's one, and then two. And then the second part of this set, which is single crochet two in the next stitch, will work two single crochets into the same stitch. There's one. And now I've completed one set. So going over the stitches in the set, that single crochet two, you see I have one, two, and then single crochet two in the next stitch, you see I've worked two single crochets into the same stitch. So this set counts as one of the five times I need to repeat, so I'm going to continue working the set four more times before I reach uh, the end of the round. Okay, so finishing up the fifth set, and then now I have my single crochet one. So I'm going to make a single crochet in the last stitch of the round. And there I've completed round four. So counting out the stitches, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now we're ready for round 5. So for round 5, we're going to single crochet 3, then single crochet 2 in the next stitch. Repeat six times for a total of 30 stitches at the end. So for the single crochet three, we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. So I'm making my first single crochet. And as always, getting my stitch marker to mark off the beginning of the round. And then I'm gonna make a single crochet in each of the next two stitches for a total of three. There's two, and then three. 
So moving on to the next part of the set, we're making two single crochets in the next stitch. So that means we're going to work two single crochets into the same stitch. There's one, and then two. So I finished one set and I'm going to continue and repeat the set five more times until I reach the end of the round. So finishing up the last set here. And there we are done with round five. So counting off the stitches, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. I hope you guys found this helpful as you work through more crochet patterns and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.